when this was taking place, what was happening in, in the world? I mean, so many things is happening in, in the world, you know, but New York City itself uh, just was kind of going through a phase where hip hop was more being produced by the West Coast and New York voice was, was kind of quiet and Wu-Tang helped bring that voice back to the forefront. So when it comes to hip hop and you talked about the West Coast was blowing up at that time, gangster rap was huge. Who was who was at the top of the hip hop game and what was what was the hip hop world like? What were people wearing? What was the whole culture like at that point? Well, as far as, um, you know, we had the West Coast, of course, rocking with N.W.A., uh, Dr. Dre. Uh, I think the MC Hammer ever was dying out, of course. But on our side, you know, it was Tribe Called Quest, EPMD, um, and it just needed more voices, you know. And when Wu-Tang came out of Staten Island, we actually came in with just really the look of the neighborhood. Pair of Timberlands, a hoodie, <laughs> and some fatigues, and we was in the building. <laughs>